In this video, we introduce the subject of uh, polynomials. Uh, so the first thing we're going to start with uh, is a definition. Uh, that is to say, what is a polynomial really? Okay, so the first thing to note is the um, prefix poly um, stands for or means many. So from this prefix, it would uh, it makes logical sense um, to expect that uh, a polynomial could be defined perhaps uh, as uh, follows. So we could uh, think a polynomial is an algebraic expression with many terms. Of course, so the many is for poly. Um, However, um, this description is totally incorrect. So a polynomial um, does not, the expression polynomial uh, does not have anything to do with many terms uh, as technically defined in mathematics. Um, a polynomial uh, is actually an algebraic, algebraic expression whose variables have got only non-negative integers as exponents. So um, this is uh, the key uh, component of the definition. It's got non-negative integers as exponents in its variables. Uh, non-negative integers refer to this set of numbers so the exponents of an algebraic of um, variables in an algebraic expression must only take uh, these uh, numbers from this set then that expression is called an exponent notice that um, from this it's got nothing to do with the number of terms. Um, so this definition, so nothing to do with the number of terms, as you might have expected from the prefix poly, um, number of terms. Um, and indeed, uh, there are similar terms like binomial. Uh, in that case, the bi uh, means two, and it has uh, something to do with the number of terms. But for polynomial, uh, the definition has got nothing to do with the number of terms. Right, so uh, here are some examples. Um, so we have got uh, in the first instance here, uh, x squared minus square root x plus 7. Uh, this one can be a polynomial term. This one cannot because square root x, if we write it as a power, is x to the power 1 half. So, and uh, 1 half is not a non-negative integer. So, this one is not a polynomial. Um, the second one, x cubed minus 1 over x, this is not going to be polynomial on account of the 1 over x because 1 over x is the same as x to the power negative 1. So again, this one is not a polynomial. Um, 5x squared minus x minus 1 though uh, is a polynomial because the power here is 2, the power here is 1. Uh, power here, if you like, that is 1, x to the power 0. So this one is a polynomial. Um, and then the next one, uh, 3x plus 2y, power here is 1, power here is 1. This one also is a polynomial. And uh, in fact, this example shows that a polynomial can be a variable, uh, a function of more than one variables. So uh, these one, this polynomial is a function of x only. This one is a function of x and y. 
this one is uh, an expression with only one term but uh, if you like the power of x here is zero so this one is going to be a polynomial so like i said the definition of a polynomial has got nothing to do with the number of terms here we've got three terms two terms here one term here and all these are polynomials the main thing is that the exponents of the uh, variables are non-negative integers this next one is also a polynomial because we've got power three here power one and power zero here so it is a polynomial and the last one we have here is also a polynomial because we've got power two here one and sorry two and one here and then four here so this is uh, a polynomial um now some of the polynomials have got uh, um, special terms that we use to refer to them um, so let's uh, just go through some of them so for instance polynomials uh, whose high, highest power is uh, yeah maybe let me, let me talk about that a bit later okay so um the one feature of a polynomial that we're going to talk about is uh, the degree of a polynomial so the degree of a polynomial is the highest power that appears in that polynomial so that then is uh, uh, the degree of a polynomial so just going back to the polynomials we we saw here um, so this polynomial here would be a polynomial of degree uh, 2 because the highest power is 2 um, for this next one the highest power is 1 so this is a polynomial of degree 1 for this one the degree highest degree is 0 mm -hmm. so this is a polynomial of degree uh, zero and uh, this one the highest power is three so that's a polynomial of degree three this one is a polynomial of uh, the highest power got two uh, sort of four one and uh, two two here so that's a polynomial of degree four now polynomials of degree two have got a special term given to them they are called quadratics so this one is an example of a quadratic polynomials of degree one are called linear functions polynomials of degree zero are called constants Polynomials of degree three are called cubics. Okay, so that is uh, our introduction of polynomials. In the next video, we're going to lay the foundation on the subject of uh, polynomial division, which is going to talk about um, some important issues to um understand before we start the process of dividing polynomials thank you for watching um we hope this is useful of course uh, we'd like to hear from you um, whether you've got questions or comments just put them in the comment section and uh, we do um employ you not to forget to press the subscribe button thank you